everybody, this is Daniel, and welcome to episode 12 of this Watford series. Uh, this episode is going to basically have some gameplay, and the final game that I play is going to be of the FA Cup uh, quarterfinals against Arsenal, so that's pretty exciting. And so we'll start off this gameplay. We're going to knock off two league matches here. We'll start off with Bristol City, and in the just starting off the game right off the bat, I'm going to try to find Taylor here, and... I mean, I just love using this guy. He's so quick on the ball, so smooth, and, you know, it's it's pretty easy to, to use skill moves with him against the defense. And even right here, in the 20th minute, you see he just beats that player, does a nice little Ronaldo chop. I mean, this, like, he's just so quick. I, I don't know if I've ever played with a player that, that moves like that. I don't know. It's, it really sounds weird. But, anyways, you guys have been suggesting that I put Win at right back, and I just threw in this clip here to explain why I have him at center back. And that is because most of the opposing teams, most of their attacking comes from the center of the pitch. And so that's why I keep him in the center because they always play those over-the-top through balls and Win is the only person that I think in the whole game that's going to be able to catch them at center back. So that's why I have him at center back. Also because I have Doily at right back and he's just um, key to Watford and also a beast. But... You see there in the 90th minute I get a goal and I get, <laughs> it was sweaty but I was just thinking to myself literally as I was um, driving the ball down the pitch with Taylor that I could either take the point or I could take three points and so I went ahead and went sweaty, got three points. But we will move on to this match against West Ham and you see a defensive error by West Ham gives McGinn a through ball and he is just going to put that away every time, playing so well for me right now and here he is again. I actually meant to do a fake shot on that one to cut it back inside, but he just has the rip and I'm 2 0 up as of now. And so in the 74th minute, like I said, McGinn, he's just doing so well. He's progressing nicely. Um, his, he's in form, scoring a lot of goals, especially from outside the box. And right here, he completes his hat trick. So congratulations to McGinn for his first hat trick. And yeah, I will definitely take that, especially against the first place team in the league. But we will move on to the finale here, the FA Cup quarterfinals against Arsenal. You see there also that they signed David Silva. And, <laughs> I mean, pretty pretty big signing there for Arsenal. And I think um, Kolarov also on Manchester City. So I guess they just took some Manchester City players. I'm not really too sure. But here in the eighth minute, I create my first chance with Dini. Nice little shot there and good, things, good to start things off. But Chesney makes a good save. Um, Dini coming across here in the 11th minute, and this is what I'm talking about, McGinn. Didn't get the goal, and Sordo can't get up high enough, but what a shot. I mean, it's so fun to have him <laughs> outside the box and taking those shots. And you see there, David Silva has a rip, but Loach is there to save it. We'll skip ahead to the 54th minute, where Sordell beats the defense, and he should have put this away, but Chesney with another good save. So it's just kind of back and forth at this point, nil to nil. And right here, <laughs> I have McGinn on the ball and sort of, I don't know what the heck he's doing. The computer, I mean, did they really just, <laughs> I don't know why they forced him into my player. But this is why I bought a Sun Chow. So I'm going to go ahead and put him in here in the 82nd minute. I'm pretty confident with my free kicks. I'll take out Hog, put in a Sun Chow, and see if I can win this match. And, I mean, I really need this. I need the funds from this match. And so Sun Chow here on the ball. From about, I think it was 18 yards or 20 yards out, 21 yards. Sorry about that. And he just kind of, was, yeah. That that shot speaks for itself. Anyways, 88th minute, and this is not bad. I mean, not good. It's not bad. This is not good at all. I try to keep Van Persie on his right foot all the time, and that's what I was doing. And he just has a rip. Pass Loach puts me down one to nil, and things are looking grim as of now. 90th minute, they'll play the ball in. And <laughs> this is it, guys. I have it with Sordell. Two men to beat. I kind of hold it up here. Pass it up to Dini, who puts a through ball to McGinn. And I see the sweaty goal coming, but I need to have this. And I pick out the draw. I cannot believe this. I was just dumbfounded when I actually got that goal. You see me raising my arms to the sky there. <laughs> I didn't think at all that I would be drawing that game and be moving on in the FA well, not really moving on, because as you all know in the FA Cup, if you get a draw, then you actually end up playing 
the team again. And so that was at Emirates, so I'll be playing at my stadium next. So I'll be home, and that will be the start of next episode. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Definitely a huge game because I need the funds so bad to get some more players. So hopefully you guys are hoping for me to win so I can sign some key players, some good players that you guys have suggested. And yeah, so this is the league table. Down only two points now to West Ham. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.